Hello people, my name is Rob from All About Gaming and welcome back for another series on my channel. Today we're going to play with Bradford City. It's been a while since I've been making videos for you guys, I knew it. Uh, but I think it's about time I'm going to make another one for you guys and it's going to be here today. I'm going to take Bradford to the Championship. Bradford are in the Premier League for about two years after each other now. They have lost once against Millwall in the semi-finals. And now last year they have lost against Millwall in the final. So I hope this year I can get Bradford into the championship and maybe even further. Now let's first take a look at the specifications of the season. So what do they want financially? They want to keep the, 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 keep the player salary under 20%. I think this will be the most difficult thing. Because I think we have to, to sign, not sell, but to sign a couple of more players to this Bradford side. In real life they're doing, I would say... Alright, not the best, so they're not in the top two, but I guess they are in the playoffs. Last time I watched, I think they were fifth. Now, the, high, the highest priority is domestic success, which probably means they want to gain automatic promotion. So they want to finish between first and second. I don't know whether I, when I get promotion by winning the playoff final at, Wimb at Wembley, when I will be sacked or not. So it's, I don't know whether it will be easy to get sacked or not here at Bradford. We will find out. Now, the youth development is... They want to sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with a potential less uh, with a potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position and they want one player in your youth academy so you probably have to start up a youth academy i think the first year our youth academy won't be that good because we have to invest in younger players as well i'm going to take a look at some english plays so it will mainly be english players in this career mode i like to keep it in i like to keep plays from england there are a lot of players from abroad currently in the League One, but I would like to like to keep it with English players. Now the brand exposure, they want to keep a streak of at least 85% attendances in five consecutive home matches. You can't do a single thing about it, so this is actually shit. Um, if it works, all right. I'm not going to care that much about that. First of all, let's take a look at how the squad looks like. First of all, how did they? This is their uh, lineup. How they usually play. I'm going to try it out. If it don't work, I'm probably going to try my own lineup. First of all, we will have our first match in the preseason tournament here against Port Vale. I'm going to simulate this entire preseason tournament. So hopefully, we will be able to get some points. First of all, it's going to be Port Vale. Aside from League Two. Uh, relegated last season but in real life not having the best of seasons they have been at relegation zone for a couple of times I'm going to simulate straight ahead it's a 2-1 win uh, goals by Reeves and Wicks so first three points of the season are officially here I don't really like playing preseason tournaments although they give me a lot of money um, if nothing happens before the other match I'm going to simulate until there so we are approaching the other match but we have a couple of scout reports coming back I've added a couple of players to my short list but first of all let's take a look at the players where we saw some uh, so it's actually a mixture of your uh, young players and older players you can see Michael Dawson for example which is a rather older player but might really strengthen our side so I found this man Michael Turner he won't join because he recently joined the club all right Sadler uh, he's too important so I <laughs> don't want to sell him either um, so Sam Bone definitely is not going to be good enough uh, but then we find some of the younger ones. Let's take a look at, at them up first. We have Toyai Bola, currently playing for Arsenal. Uh, his wage is rather low as he's playing for Arsenal. That is a rather good wage. He's 59 overall, but that can definitely grow. And we have Clark Salter, the man who played last season for, I think it was uh, Bristol Rovers. Uh, Again, a very low wage. This might be the man where we might take a look at. I think Matt Clark might be too expensive at this moment. Edmunds Green, I think he is a bit too low rated at this moment. Still waiting on a couple of other scout agree, but what do we have so far? Also this man, Wesley Harding, he's looking alright. At the age of 20, 64 rated. Humphreys Grant, again wages are alright. Um, I just don't know how much he's going to ask and Tom Mori. Probably this is the best man to look at. Timori is, nine, uh, is 19 years old. Um, probably have to pay a lot for him. Is there none, no players which can't tell you? I think Joe Worrell might be too expensive. So I think his wages are also too big. So I'm going to remove him here. But as you can see, a mixture of young and older players. Still waiting until I get the full scout reports here of Luke Chambers, Michael Dawson, Matthew Mills, Nedjum Onua. So you can see. 
a lot of players with championship experience, uh, Byron Webster, uh, David Wedder. Uh, he said he recently joined the club, but that's definitely not true. He's been here since, since I guess, th two or three years. And then we have Jake Wright, and Dara I still have to know how much he's worth, but I think I might go for Clark Salter at this moment. I Though he's my, I think I'm going to. I'm not going for Matt Clark. I guess he's going to be a bit too expensive, um, as he's 67 rated at this moment. I might go for this man here, Wesley Harding, or should I go for two more? He's even a year younger. Um, he's just, he's less expensive. You know what? I'm going to go for Fikai Tomori. Um, let's go, let's get in with a good bot, and hopefully we will we will be able to bring in our first player. So I'm going to go for a 400 offer straight away. They want 420 and a sell-on clause of 5%. Now the sell-on clause is not a problem, uh, but I'm going to ask for about 380 then. It's still less than his value, but with that sell-on clause they might accept it. They want 410 now. Actually, I'm not going to whisper, I'm not going to negotiate about that. It's straight or right, and hopefully we will be bringing in our first player here important role at this club I'm going to accept it straight away I don't know whether he will get that but I'm going to accept it contact of three years let's count it and let's give him an extra year as they always accept that here in FIFA so four years he's been here uh, no sell on clause which I like now let's find out what kind of wages he's on oh that's rather cheap it's just about 2k I would say I'm going to remove that appearance bonus that's rather expensive now he's probably going to Go a bit over 2k, yes, 2.2k, still, still rather cheap. So let's accept Fikai Tomori. You're officially the first signing we made here at uh, our club, and I think this is a very good signing, a very solid signing as well. We have our second match here against uh, what is it? I guess Coventry. I'm going to put him straight on the bench here, Tomori. Uh, you, you are going to replace maybe Robinson. I'm going to put Reader in goal instead of Doyle. Uh, yes, let's uh, simulate the next match here. It actually turned out to be a loss here against Coventry. Uh, I thought they were in the second and the fourth division, but actually they are in the third. So it's no big deal here losing against um, losing against Coventry. It's still a preseason tournament. Let's simulate now until the match against Walsall. Let's hope. Oh, what is that? Crystal Palace brings in Torgan Hazard. Oh, this is a signing I've never seen before, but alright, it's nice to see new signings are coming up. Uh, now let's simulate into that match against Walsall. Uh, but first of all, let's just sign up Tolai Bola. I guess he will be a great centre-back in the future, so let's make our second sign. As he's only 59 rated, let's, let's uh, inquire like 180. Oh, just, they want something below his value, so I'm going to stick to my fee, which I was on. Sometimes you just have to be... A bit annoying here. Sometimes they're just straight accepted. That's when as well, while Arsenal is going to accept it, and actually they do straight accept it. This is a, this is a bargain, definitely it is. Now let's hope he won't be too uh, he won't be too annoying in terms of wages. Let's hope he'll we can pick him up on the cheap as well here. He wants sporadic, no problem. Sporadic is something which I'm going to accept straight away. I'm going to offer him a five-year contract. Hopefully, he'll accept it. I mean, he wants a three-year contract. I definitely don't like that. Let's counter with about a year extra, like the other play we had, and he's accepted this as well. He doesn't want a release, a release clause, so I'm going to accept that as well. And his wage is slightly higher than the other one. I'm going to remove that appearance bonus. I think 6.2 is rather high for a 59-rated player, but 6.7. I think that is rather high. I'm just going to do it. Bola is our second signing, so we brought in two players who had a very good potential below the age of uh, what is it, 20. I hope the board will be happy. I hope this is something which I want, that which they wanted. And yes, those are the two players which they wanted. So we brought in two players below 20, which are both two defenders. Now, first of all, here we have the semi-finals against Mansfield Town in the Invitational Cup. So first of all, we're going to simulate that one out of the way. It's a home match, so hopefully we will be able to win it. And will we win it? Let's find out. And we win on penalties. So they've scored in the 82nd minute. We scored quite early on. We did pick up a red card. It's fortunately in defense where we strengthened ourselves. 
So, um, yeah, we go to the finals. I'm not going to play that either. It will be against Coventry again. We have three emails here, which I could see. It's about prize money, which we've gained. Oh, that's a decent amount of. And a red card. So, let's uh, get straight into that match against Coventry. Let's simulate it out of the way. And hopefully, we will be able to win the preseason tournament. The good thing is now the goalkeeper got sold. And we do have a couple of scout reports coming back on defenders. I'm going to watch that after that. But first of all, uh, we have here a transfer offer for one of our older players, I would say, Romain Vincelot. He's 31. Uh, he might move to Forest. Although he's 69 rated, I guess he might be very important for us. Although I'm keen on bringing an English player, I don't think I'm going to keep him for this season. I think he will be very important, so let's reject his offer from Nottingham Forest and uh, simulate that match out of the way here now against Coventry. Uh, let's find out whether we will be able. King Alon will be replaced, so it will be the first start for tomorrow. I'm going to start him here. Uh, I'm going to replace him with uh, this man. I don't think he played so far this season. I'm going to remove Henry with Chickson. As he's a 66 rated player and let's hopefully win this final against Coventry after we've lost against them. Um, this time it will be away from home as it was in the other match. So somehow FIFA don't like you to win away from home. Let's find out this time we can. And we lose once more in penalties. We scored quite early on. They've missed the penalty. Uh, they picked up a red card but we just couldn't score. Uh, actually we could score but we've lost on pens. So we've lost twice now against Coventry. Uh, and actually we do start our first match in uh, Actually, I will play my first match here for you today. So you will have some gameplay We will play our first match of the season against Blackpool and I saw that we do have a Carabao Cup match against Sunderland So that will be interesting as well. We have five more emails a couple of scout reports on uh, Left mids which I've scouted. So let's take a look at how good they are but I guess this man they mentioned he recently joined, but he was looking very good. I may pick him up on loan. We will find out. And actually, I'm able to pick him up on loan. Let's find out whether he'll accept this. He is from England. Uh, he's 67 rated at the age of 19. Let's find out whether we can pick him up for like two years here at this club. It would be very nice. Uh, it would strengthen us a lot, obviously. And they accept it straight away. I'm going to ask for about... 40, 60, I guess that's reasonable as Benfica has the biggest side. They want us to pay 6, I guess that's a bit overpricing. Let's again try it. Let's find out whether they'll accept it now. Yes, they do. Sometimes you just have to be a bit more, uh, yeah, a bit more annoying. Let's hope he'll accept this um, so he can play with us in the match against Blackpool. It turns out that he rejected it, so we're, we're a bit we're, we are a bit unfortunate there. Uh, we won't see Chris Willock at our side. That's, that's a bit unfortunate. I, I was keen on bringing him in, but uh, we just can't, it seems like. We have another offer here for Vincelot. This time it is from Bolton Wanderers. Uh, it's more than the last time, but again, I'm not going to sell uh, Romain Vincelot. He will be one of the most important players this season, so I'm going to say... No, even more scout scout reports are coming in. So let's find out whether I can make a decision right now. We still don't know something about Eden. We know about his wage, and we still don't know something about Kelly Evans. I guess Adam O. Luckman would be nice, but his wages are too high. Uh, this Morris guy is just not good enough. So I'm going to reject him. I guess I'm have to do an offer here for Thomas Sante. He's 58 rated, but I guess he's very good. So I'm going to do an offer here. He's from England. He's still, he's only 18 and I guess he's definitely has some potential to grow. So let's hope that we can pick him up. Inquire something which is less than his value. Try something about 150, which is not a lot. And they want 165. I'm going to accept it straight away. They want a sell on clause of 4%. No problem. This is still a bargain. Thomas Asante, hopefully we'll be able to be part of our, of our, yes, of our future team with field of English players. Now, he wants a sporadic team play. I'm going to accept that straight away, no problem. Uh, the length of his contract, let's try and give him a five-year contract. And again, he turned this down. He only wants to sign a two-year contract. So let's inquire with the three-year contract. He's going to accept that. Hopefully, we will be able to hold him on. I'm going to disregard a release clause here. 
uh, about salary. He's currently on only 950. Let's just give him a fifth, a buck of 50 more. Let's give him a final bonus of about 10 euros, a town, 10 pounds. Let's find out whether he'll accept this. And oh, he wants to stick on his current wage. That's very cheap. Signing bonus of 12,000 pounds. It's still all right. I'm going to accept that straight away. It's more than my 10 pounds, which I had in my mind, but uh, it's still all right. So uh, he's our third player which we signed up this season. I'm still waiting for Eden. I think he might still be a very decent player and I still think I'm going to do an offer him for him as well. First of all now we have an, uh, an offer here for Tony McMahon from Barnsley. He is one of our more experienced right backs, probably the only right back we currently have on our side. So I'm going to reject this offer as well. So Tony McMahon will stay at our club. I have had two more players to our shortlist, two players which I'm mainly interested in and I'm going to stick with Willock, I'm going to stay with him here. Hopefully next year we will be able to pick him up, but I've added two players. This man here, I never heard of him, but he's English, currently playing in the Netherlands. He can play right back and left back, his name is Fankety Dabo. And he also, I also brought on that player, Johnson Clark Harris. He's an amazing finisher. I saw some of his goals this season for Rotterdam. So I hope he will be able to sign up with our club as well. I'm still waiting so I can see what kind of wages they're on and what kind of budget which I have to spend. So before we get into this match here against... Uh, what is it? Blackpool. I've saw that we had a squad report here of Dabo. He is 68 rated. He's valued at about 925k. So I'm going to approach him to buy. He will be rather expensive, but I guess he will be a very good player. I don't know whether he'll get a lot of playing time currently in the Netherlands, but at Bradford he definitely will. So let's find out whether I can pick him up for like about 800. They're probably going to reject it. I'll find out whether what he says to that. They only want the salon clause. Actually, I'm going to accept that straight away. No problem with that clause. 800k is what I'm going to pay for him. And I picked him up below value again. That's another player which I pick up below value. Hopefully, I can pick him up on low wages as well. So he wants crucial, which I can accept, which I'm going to accept. I just don't want to miss him out. So I'm so happy I found that player. Try again, five year contract this time, is it going to work? No, only three years again, so I'm going to counter with four years then, this time he probably is going to accept that, isn't he? Yes, again, he's accepting a four year contract, no release clause. I'm going to accept what kind of wages he will be on. He's, he's cheaper, he's cheaper than the man from Arsenal and he's, I think, 10 ratings higher. Now I'm going to counter that, that appearance, uh, those appearance bonuses have to be removed. And again, it's still cheap. <laughs> Look about, we only have about £9 left in the wage budget. I'm going to swap around that before the match against Blackpool. But this is our fourth official signing. We're doing well here. I guess all the players we picked up are all very good players. So, now first of all, I'm going to swap around the budget. And then we will play our first match of the season. So, there we go then. First match of the season. Let's find out what we can do here against uh, Blackpool. Newly promoted sides. Let's find out whether we can do well here. Saw the run bait made by Wick. Wick to make it 1-0. Wick, it's 1-0 to Bradford after only 8 minutes. This is what I want to see. Countering football. And a goal just looked very easy. Very poor defending by Blackpool there. And a very good finish by Wick. It's 1-0 very early on after they had a very big chance to make it 1-0 themselves. Finds Wick, back to Polyon, very good through pass, Polyon to make it two, he missed it, what a chance, he's 16 minutes in, another very big chance for Bradford, very good ball to Polyon, but he couldn't find the back of the net from that distance, that's a bit embarrassing. Jay Spearing, he lost possession in a very stupid area, there's Wick, I might shoot from distance, that ball is blocked, still Polyon, and what a goal from Polyon! Unbelievable goal! You never see those kind of goals that often in the League One. But that goal by Paulin is one to be treasured. Already contender for goal of the season and only the first match. 25 minutes played. It's Bradford 2, Blackpool 0. Look again, there's Wick picking up the ball. Very stupid loser possession. And then in one time, he finished it. First time finished by Dominic Paulin. Look at that, that's world class. And it is 2-0 to the Bradford side. Back to Wick, he can close them in. Wick with a shot from distance, hits the post and went out. 
what would it be if this was 3-0, the game was already played, but Wick hits the post there. Through ball to Dolly Menga, can he make a goal? No, he can't, he missed it. Very big chance for Blackpool, it's not that they don't have the chances in this match, but they just can't finish. Look at this shot, decent chance, but missed. Aside, I've tried to put it over the top here for Dominic Pollian. Very good ball. He's tackled. It should be a red card. No, it's not a foul. Dominic Pollian still in the box. I tried to cross it, but I've lost possession in this stupid area. And Blackpool can counter from this. They are pressuring here, Blackpool. There's a goal in the sky for them. Very good tackle. We might be on the break now. This is a very good through ball, I'd say, but not the best of through balls there. Pollyan, I'm going to poke it through, no sight here, this should be the third, there's weak over the top, I poke it and oh, he had a hand on it, are you kidding? I thought I was going to make a lovely goal here, let's take a look at it again, I think it would have gone wide to the post eventually, so he, I'm actually lucky he had a hand on it, uh, so there's the corner, let's find out how good we are on corners, there we go, Vince a lot, straight into Alsop's hands, but we had, a, we had the head on it, so not that bad at all. Give up into midfield. There's Vincelot. Vincelot back to the wing. There's someone running. Very good run here by Rees. I'm going to cross it in front of goal. And the goalkeeper was faster. Very unfortunate. The attacks we are making are just lovely. Very good ball. No side from Menga. He's going to cross it to the other side. Daniel with the header over the goal. That's going to be it, I guess. Final whistle. Bradford 2. Blackpool 0. We have won our first match of the season, so we actually have set the tone. Very happy about the way, very glad about the way we've played here. And I'm pleased with the 2-0 result we've picked up today. Very strong performance. I'm going to simulate it till that match against Sunderland before I'm going to end off this episode. So is this going to happen anything before this match? I don't think so. Actually, yes, we do have a scout report on Johnson Clark Harris. I still think I'm going to sign him right now because I think we still need another striker to strengthen the people in front. He's worth 550. I might pick him up for about, I think, 400. We will find out. I think Jason Clark Selter, uh, not Clark Selter, but Cl Harris is not really a player which a lot of YouTubers do pick up. So I try to uh, go for players which which aren't the, which aren't that common used so uh, let's try it out 400 and they actually do straight away accept it it's this is unbelievable one of the better strikers in league one and they gave him me for like shit i'd say just a big house is what his value is probably um and his squad role i'm going to give him a rotation hopefully he'll accept that and what does he say he wants in porn but i can't understand that he wants that he's coming from rotterdam only a one-year contract? No way. I'm going to try and give him a three-year contract. Let's find out what he says. Only one year. That's a bit of hard. That's harsh. Let's try two years then. And uh, he accepts that. Uh, I'm going to disregard the release clause. Let's find out about what kind of money he's looking to get. Let's try give him the same at what he's currently having. Or actually, let's give him a 300 extra. And about an... Uh, a thousand signing bonus. Let's find out what he's going to say about that. He wants 26 signing bonus. He wants a pay cut. So everything is looking reasonable. I'm going to accept it straight away. That leaves us with about, I think, half a mil in the transfer window. But we've made our fifth official signing. So before I'm going to end this episode, this is our how how our current squad look like. I think it's looking very strong, very good. Only one substitution has to be made, and that's going to be Debo, which I'm going to pick up as well. Uh, this episode we made five signings, we brought in Tomori, we brought in Dabo, we brought in Bola, we also brought in Clark Harris, we brought in Thomas Asante as well. So is that five or is that four? I have to count again. So one, two, uh, three, four, five. Yes, five signings we made and I'm glad about the signings we made. So thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow we'll go further. First of all, I'm going to take a look at the matches we're going to play tomorrow. I guess it will be Sunderland in the Carabao Cup, which I've seen there. And we're also going to play Gillingham and Bristol. Not Bristol, but Blackburn Rovers. So, uh, and the day, uh, maybe tomorrow I might be able to get two episodes on. And we might even end up the transfer window tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate that I'm back making videos. To all of you guys, a happy new year. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.